Hey guys, so welcome back. Today, there's this bucket next to me, which you could probably guess is empties for March. So, hang on, I ain't comfy because, like, this is going to be long. Well, I don't know, super long, but long. Alright, so let's just get started. Um, so, the first thing I used is the uh, Vino Repairing Foot Mask. And this I got at CVS pretty much free because I use my extra bucks but I really enjoyed this you just put it on your feet wait 10 minutes and you pull it off and it's really makes your skin really soft I have diabetes so I try to keep my skin and my feet soft because diabetics have problems with their feet so I don't go barefoot very often I always wear socks or sandals or slippers um, and I always make sure to moisturize my feet so I can tell if there's any hard spots or anything else going on. So, I really enjoy that. And it's, I think it's like four bucks. Not too bad for a foot mask. Um, the next thing I use is the Toasted Vanilla Bath Fizzer Powder. This is from Ulta. These are normally five bucks. I did not pay that, but the price is on the back. That's how I know it. <laughs> uh, that was alright. I wasn't a total fan. I got a couple more I gotta use up, but... Like I said, I only paid a buck a piece. So, this is the Bolero Fresh Watermelon Bath Bombs. This turns your water pink. It's kind of fun. It's only a buck for these as well. I would probably repurchase this. It's, it was fun for me. I have tried a lot of the Dollar Tree um, bath bombs, so they're not too bad. Uh, speaking of bath bombs, I used up this one too. Um, this was a llama. It looked like a llama. I just saved the wrapper. That was alright. And that was from the family dollar. Um, I used up two of these. This is the Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief for the green one. And the other one is Nighttime Relief. I prefer the muscle relief over the nighttime. This is Eucalyptus, Menthol, and Spearmint. And this is Menthol, Lavender, and Calomile. So I prefer this one. I have a couple more of each of these. These are only a buck at the Dollar Tree. You can get them at Dollar or Walmart for $1.99. So half price of Dollar Tree. Definitely worth it. I was excited when I see them there. I picked up a whole bunch. Um, I used up one, two, two sheet masks. I only used up two sheet masks. Okay. So I used up the Alta Beauty Smart. Skincare Solution Hydrating Coconut Mask. Um, I like this. It's nice. Um, and then I use up the 24 Gold Glow Sheet Mask. This is supposed to lift firm, glow, and detox. Um, this was nice as well. I didn't mind it. Um, I used up... Uh, I had quite a few travel soaps that I was trying to use up. I'm trying to use up one right now. Um, but these are the two bar soaps I use. I only count this as like a dollar each in my inventory totals. Like if you, if I use them up, they're only a buck. So I used up two soap, bar soaps. I used up this foil packet of herbal essence I got in my Walmart beauty box. I liked it. It wasn't quite enough to do my hair. And then let's do this one. We do the travel size. Um, I used up one conditioner and two shampoos for travel size as well so those are out those are like hotel shampoos conditioners i used up a full size of the maori moisture i use one of these usually every month this one is the coconut milk which is one of my favorite ones my husband doesn't like them he says they don't do anything for his hair this is the banana republic icon fragrance this is the pure white one I really enjoyed this. I wouldn't mind purchasing the full price and they're on sale right now on their website for 26 bucks for 2.5 ounces. So that's not bad. So I really enjoyed that. But I gotta get through some of my other first. Um, the Bada Shop Mango Shower Gel. I got this in a little kit over Christmas. Um, it came with this and then it came with a body butter for like 8 bucks. Um, I really enjoyed the shower gel. I'd be interested in picking up a lotion in this scent. It's it's one of my favorite scents that they have. It's mango, of course. I love mango scented stuff. So that was fun. I enjoyed using that. 
I don't count this on my totals for usage, but I used up another candle and vanilla cream. I bought this at the dollar store and I burned it all the way down to the wick, but like half the candle's still there. Like it won't burn anymore, but like the wall is covered in wax. So I was kind of disappointed, but it was only a buck at the dollar store. So I guess I can't be super disappointed because it did burn a while. Um, I used up uh, two lotions. Um, one was the sweet pea bath and body works lotion this was about half full when i started trying to get it out of here so i just finished off the warm vanilla last month and this one was the one i was working on this month i am not working on a bath and body works lotion this um in april i'm taking a break from them for a minute and i'm gonna work on my body shop lotions but i got this one out so that's a full size and then i also got the body shop Shea hand cream out which is just a hand cream I enjoyed their hand creams I did not like this scent though this was Shea I like the coconut scent that's good I'm working on that right now it's just a little tub that came with that shower gel so I'm going to try to finish that off um I also finished off this hand salve from Seed Fanta Phyto Nutri Nutrients I looked this up online and the full size of this is like 28 bucks. But it was nice. I used it as a foot salve to help soften my skin on my feet. Like I said, I try to keep my feet really soft. And I use salve on my feet and not my hands. So I have that used up. That actually took me like four or five times. So that was nice. It came with quite a bit in there. I used an eye cream up. The e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. It was just a little sample size. Came in a kit with five out products for 15 bucks which I have used a couple up and I still have a couple left but I enjoy this I would probably repurchase it um the clean it zero cleansing balm in original I got this in my ipsy glam bag I did not like this I wanted to try a cleansing balm and this did absolutely nothing I would not recommend wouldn't repurchase none of it um I did finish off this moisturizer it's the wander haru haru honey green aqua balm cream this is in my new decade project pan and I finished this off. It was nice. I enjoyed it. I also was putting it with the e.l.f. boosting drops for hydration. So that was cool. They worked really well together because they were both the same texture. Um, I don't know if I'd repurchase that though. Um, it is a Korean brand and it's kind of hard to get a hold of. I finished off two masks this month. I did the Hey Honey Take Away the Drama peel off mask and the hey honey sweet treat mask which are both sample sizes that's probably why i didn't use as many sheet masks because i was kind of focusing on these so those are also out of my collection then i used the age perfect cell renewal night cream this is a full size this took me two and a half months almost three months to finish up this is 27 dollars um so about 10 bucks a month not terrible um i did not pay full price for this i only paid 10 bucks for this because I had coupons. So I think it was worth it. Um, I enjoy it. I would probably repurchase this. I have gotten the daytime cream I think in this as well. So we shall see. Um, it's a thicker cream as well. So if you don't like thick creams keep that in mind. And then we're on to just makeup stuff. I only have four makeup items I finished this month but I'm super proud of myself. So this is the Angel Food Cushion from Joa. Um, I like this foundation, but I would not repurchase because you don't get a whole ton for the price that you pay. Um, that's in my New Decade Project Pen as well. The LA Color Truly Matte Long Wearing Foundation. I like the coverage. I do not like that it's matte. Um, and this is one of the oldest foundations I had in my collection, so I had to use it up. I just finished it today. Um, I don't know. I don't like the fact that it's so matte, but it's really nice coverage. So if they have a hydrating one, I'll probably try that one. But I don't really need to get any more foundations. Um, but this is foundation five I finished for the year, and I, my goal is ten, so I'm halfway there. Super excited about that. Um, do you guys have any foundation goals? Because like I've seen a lot of people panning foundations this year. So um then i and that was in my 2020 project pan along with this this is the trust fun beauty um lip gasm lip gloss and method to the madness um i used this 40 times after i put this in my project pan before i finished it up and it was only half full 
So like one of these, um, I looked on their website, is $22 for an 8 milliliter. This is a 4 milliliter. So this product is like $11 worth of value. That's crazy. But if you can use it 80 times, I guess it's worth it. And then the last thing is a mascara from Maybelline, my last sensational. I finally used this up. Um, I like this mascara. I have it in the full size as well. I just don't have it open. I only have one mascara open at a time. That is it for the empties. I did add up all my empties totals. So let me throw all this stuff back in the bin. Or at least the ones that are on my notebook. Um, and for March... March, I used up $32.44 in makeup. I used $119.58 in other beauty products, lotions, hand creams, etc. So, all together for empties for March, I used $152.02, which is pretty comparable to the other two months. In February, I used up $123.16 total, and then in January... Let me find it. It's around here somewhere. I used up $213.20. So, and I, a lot of it for January was, is like, I had a bunch of stuff that was almost gone that I was just trying to get out because I didn't finish them in December. So, that's why January was so full. But, that's cool that I got all this stuff out. And, if I put it all back in here... You see the bin is actually pretty full. So I'd say that's pretty good. But um, you guys all have a great day and stick around for more videos to come. I am probably going to be posting quite a bit this week. So have a wonderful day. See you guys later. Bye.